I don't know. 1k net worth lead for the side of BGJ form. T um, Viper still on the Radiant Jung. Pero si 33, she's gonna have to back up since also nice pata niya rin with the Observer Wards. Itong, um, yung mga heroes ng BJ Storm. Ay, nawala yung stream. Ano nangyari si stream? Refresh nyo lang guys, refresh nyo lang. Babalik din yan. Eto na, eto na. Um, yung ultimates ng VJ Storm, still. Andito pa rin. Pero hindi tinakita yung wombo combo nila. I mean, they are still into this game, guys. It's only 1k network lead, though Optic Gaming just did a great job um, picking up heroes aside ng VJ Storm. But other than that, they could still pretty much be in this game. And eto na, ang gandang snowball to the neutral creeps. And Zai, he got tracked in here. Oh no, he got loose and beam, but that shard won't be saving his, um, his himself. So, yun, yeah, that is a track gold win or kill for the side of the Radiant. Refresh nyo lang, refresh nyo lang. Babalik din yan. And ito na yung Ravage will collect two heroes. Nice track on this guy, but as uh, he, and he gets a Typhon, and now Troll is trying to get out, so TCNT will be the hero to take down on the side of Big J Storm and mukhang tier 2 tower Roshan what is the choice here? 40 seconds bago siya mabuhay dito so ito na makukuha na yung Roshan I mean I I think sa ano nito eh yung disconnection ang nangyari sa ano sa Twitch I feel like pero ito na nag buyback si Viper but the Roshan is running and CCNC's buyback is not gonna be um, in time para makuha nila itong Roshan. Oh no. It is too late, but now they're gonna catch SVG. Pero, Tidehunter, wala siyang ravage. He can't save his teammate. And now, Pycraft on a killing speed streak. While 33, they're looking for kills. They're gonna spot PPD. Makapapap yung smoke niya dito. Ito na yung silence kay Timado. CCNC spotted snaking. Ito na yung avalanche toss combination from 33. And Tidehunter is dead. That is a 3... 300 gold in the bank for you on the side of Optic Gaming. Patlong kata po ay grabe si Peter. Just go there. Pero napupush yung wave eh, sa taas eh. So medyo mahirap kung kukunin nila yung tier 2 tower. Pero up for grabs pa rin naman yung tier 1 tower. And nakuha na nga nitong si Pyka. So, 5 seconds and Tidehunter is gonna be back and alive. Though, yung Ravage niya is gonna be up in 40 seconds pa. Pero, I guess, um, quick item check tayo guys. Tignan natin yung item progression ng mga teams natin dito. So, si NP, he went for the Drums Medallion. Si SBD on the um, Bounty Hunter, he went for Threads. Si Snakey naman, he went for the Helm. Uh, Dominator for staff, this um, Yawar, na sa niyong Ages of Immortal, MOM, Dragonlands, um, Akila Threads. Si Timado naman, he has the Yule Scepter Face Boots. Aside from Optic Gaming, si CNC went for the Drums Hood. Si Zai, um, he went for the Urn and Arcane Boots, going for the Vessel, but that's the booster na lang. Kulang. Si Pykat went for the SNY. Si 33 naman, he has a Blink Tiger, while Peter still with the Tranquil Boots and um, Medallion. So, ito na yung uh, tier 1 tower sa bottom lane. I think this is the second attempt of them taking it down. Well, Zai positioning himself. Can he do this? Oh, pero makukuha nila yung tier 1 tower na isang mabilis. And everyone is already out on the side of Radiant. So, that is the successful tower objective down for the side of the Radiant. Hihintay natin dito ah. Pipe naman ang gusto nabubuin dito ni Tidehunter. I guess for the, that damage kay Tiny, you have the Viper. So, I guess kakailangan nito. And maganda rin siyang regen for Tidehunter nga naman, diba? Ish, yung maglaro, kapag maglaro pa ba kayo ng Clash of Clans? Um, hindi, hindi ako naglaro nun kahit kailan. I mean, I've heard of that game, pero never ko siyang nilaro. Pero si SVG got spotted here. Nice snowball and SVG is dead. Nice kill secured. 
the side of Optic. Ilan ba sa mga ilan na yung pakay dito ni SPG? Pero now si Peter, oh no, magiging one for one pa ang trade adon. Now Chen is the one got secured by the side of VGJ Storm. So on that fight recap, mas matamig na ako yung Optic Gaming since they secured 300 gold and. Hindi naman din nakakalayo yung net worth nitong si SPG sa kanya tong si um, Chen. Si Nature's Prophet pala, meron na rin siyang silence dito. So, kaya kanya ng uy, nice farm with that catapult. Ang dami, ang dami yun akong si Feel like naglolo ko yung dota ko minsan. Pero wait lang. Eto na si Zai. Grabe man this guy. Front lightning. Front line. Uh, front lining. Ayan. Since kasi si Tiny, kailangan niya ng... Ayaw, hindi niya dap... Hindi siya dapat mukha pakiwasan mga pa. Kasi kailangan niya ibigay yung element of surprise. Surprise? French fries? <laughs> element of surprise. Pero eto na si PP dropping an observer war. So they know exactly yung look ng team pa niyan. Eto na si Tiny. Oh no, he got avalanche. I mean, he got tossed. Pero eto na si Pycat popping his BKB. He wants to get someone. He wants to get snaking. He still hasn't popped his Ravage. Now, si Yowar. Eto na. Oh no, wala siyang nakuwang kill with that um, BKB duration from your Troll Warlord. And now, CZNC is in trouble. Eto na yung right click from that um, Luna. And in the end, now one of the CC and he make that two heroes dead. The side now optic gaming. We have the snowball from Zai trying to delay the damage, but he's gonna pop his ultimate. But the silence is gonna be there to um triple him down and then again the new ravage. Unfortunately, hindi tatama kay Pycat and kay Peter, but if Pycat will try to pop the beak, I mean the it is a bit more than fair. And since it did expire, it regen him to back to full health. So oh no, nice hurricane Pike. Um, Creating some distance at this petrol wall then at the 33 with his avalanche toss combination and now two heroes are down to side them big J storm 32 trying to man fight at this three years but Pycat finally backing him up he's trying to micro this engagement at the name blink and and now 33 is dead once again Pycat is last year he wants to man fight this and there is the BKB you want to fight me my friend but in the end MSS is gonna try to dance it out after securing an ultra kill dominating streak on that engagement so that is both teams got team wiped <laughs> um, both teams got team wiped on that engagement pero um, MSS had to buy back same with uh, Tusker and also si Tiny nag buy back din doon so in the um, calculation sa ulit 2300 gold ang nakuha ng BGJ Storm while um, 8,900 na month experience ang nasa cure ng Radiant side. So grabe si Nature's Prophet. Sobrang worth it nung buyback niya. Since yun nga, naka-ultra kill siya. And he made sure that they will win that engagement. I don't know kung, I guess, medyo may halong malas na rin si Yowar from that team fight. Pero kasi nag-region naman siya eh. So I guess hindi na rin masama yun. It's just that, um, yun nga, yung buyback from Tiny secure that kill kay Luna. Yo, Curly, hello sa'yo. What's up, what's up? Kamusta, kamusta? Nature's Prophet building up a Shadow Blade, so I guess para meron na rin siyang um, escape and um, kung mal siya uh, si Silver Edge siya, maganda rin kasi you have the Tiny, you have the Troll, and pang wala na rin ng Corrosive Haze from Viper. So kasi pinang position 4 guys, position 4 Nature's Prophet to, and he is doing a lot for his team. Uh, kita mo parang si Snake King, parang siya, rin, siya na ngayon naging position 3 eh. Kung maga, she's just a walking ravage for his team. Though he still can tank yung mga engagement natin, pero most of the damage, or um, kung maga nagiging 4 na. Itong si NP compared dito kay Tidehunter natin ngayon. So, looking at a vision naman natin, so... Um, Radiant, they have one observer sa mid lane. 
Um, wa- also, lane ward dito sa bottom din naman sa my side ng Optic Gaming. Where side ng Optic Gaming, they have that ward sa my secret shop dun sa baba. And then, that's it. Actually, yun lang. Isa lang yung vision nila dito. So, that's why very limited yung mga movement nila. They don't know where is the team, where are the um, VJ Storm um, heroes farming sa mapa natin. So, kita nyo naman guys, sama-sama itong si 33, si um, TPD, and si Zai na nagpa-farm and grouping up. So, kita na. And uh, ito nakahabol na rin pala yung tatlong course dito ng VJ Storm. Kanina, yung dalawang um kumbaga si Viper sa si Troll ang top network natin. Ngayon, itong si uh, pangalawa na ngayon si Duna, tapos si NP. Oh, now third in our network. So, kita mo yung um, importance ng laban kanina, how he boosted them up with the network natin. Um, tawag dito, yo syntax, ah, hindi ko alam kung nasaan si Ceres. Maybe she's, you know, having a break time after of the long competitive duration na nilaro niya sa OG. We never know. Pero, yeah, like what I said, wala pa akong idea, guys. So, oh no, si CNC gets spotted right away. And now from the back side, popping the ravage, connecting to two heroes. The little support si naman on the side ng Optic Gaming. So, they did not have the backup with the snowball save or yung pa from Chen. So that is recognition from Snake King and that is Tirzo Tower gone in just a second dito sa mid lane. Ewan ko lang si Viper, bakit wala siyang 4 staff? <laughs> I feel like 4 staff would have been a great item for him. I think he might have um, relied it too much the teammates niya to force him out or save him on those kind of situations. But I feel like Ilan Beso siyang nas sprout and I try to pick off ng VJ Storm and he just couldn't do anything. Diba? Yung four stop na kay Tiny, um, si Troll, uh, si S go, he, he has BKB, so going for the Skadi. So, ang isa lang pala yung four stop nila dito. So, yeah, that is quite tough or rough for the side of Optic Gaming. I feel like if they just have that item, they have more kiting items aside than VJ Storm. But now VJ St Storm is the one kiting the heroes of the Optic Gaming. So, ito na. they're just rewarding the yung observer wards from the Radiant since kanina pa nila na establish yung uh, map control natin dito. Pero both teams guys, ha, walang vision ngayon. Yung um, optic lang, nakalalagi lang nila dito sa my ancient natin. And also, meron pala dito may, ano, um, scouting the shrine on the side of the optic jungle. And ito na, the war, popping his BKB, CCNT running low, oh no, he's getting right in the pero nice noble save, but this is not gonna look good for your Viper, and now Zai, better wait lang si Pika, trying to turn his around, popping the right click, ito ko kay Snake King, well, ito na yung shard will not block down, pero Kinamit na rin itong si CCNC Itong kanyang exorcism Well, that will secure a kill dito kay Zai Well, nice um, trans sprout from MSS Just zoning out the heroes from Optic Gaming So in the end, that is a 2 for one trade We might be seeing more engagement here Ito na si Pika Na sprout siya ulit dito Pero he has um, I think QB to get out of the way From that code na kinapag ginagawa Ng Radiant side So, eto na, yung exorcism. There you go, they want to go in. They got silence, Superman silence. Oh no, did they right click that? So, Chen got right click down. Next one, with Peter. Use cooler. He doesn't have BKB, so the silence, he can't do anything. And that is your unstoppable streak on MSS. And now, 33, who tried to make something happen, just got right click down. And now, Peter. Peter, you're on the wrong side of the map, sir. With that track gold, your Chen is dead. That is three heroes down on the side of Optic Gaming, and they don't even need Roshan to end this game. Now, CCNC, he got you, he got silent. He's now getting right click down on the side of BGJ Storm, and now Viper is dead. The side of Dire, and this could be set of Rex. It might be GG for the side of Optic Gaming. I don't know how else are they gonna defend. Ito ang base nila with them having no buyback into this game. Viper has no buyback 
Um, si Troll, wala din siyang Baidak. He's gonna be up in 20 seconds. Pero um, yung, yung base nila doesn't have 20 seconds para mabuhay. Why is Zainaman making something happen? Just play not at Oh no, that's proud. Zai is just watching MSS and that ultimate that the Wrath of Nature is gonna be doing it and securing that kill. And that is well played. And for everyone on the side of DGG Storm showing to Optic Gaming that they are just the better team into this year securing a 2-0 clean sweep against Tito sa team ni PPD. Grabe, sobrang lakas naman ng DGG Storm ngayon. Napakanda. Ang ganda ng mga movement nila, ang ganda ng location nila, yung picking nila. It always makes sense. Um, kumbaga... Um, it makes sense to the point na alam na alam nila kung ano yung gagawin nila, kung saan sila mag-rotate, when do they need to fight, kung anong objective yung kail kailangan nilang kunin on this time of the game. So there you go, guys, have it. Um, DJ Storm will be securing the first, um, not the first, ano ulit, uh, for this tournament pa lang. Pero yung para sa ating qualifiers, they will be moving up sa ating bracket. So good job for this uh, team but it's not too late for the other teams since mahaba haba pa naman yung qualifiers natin na to um meron pa ding ay meron pa bang lower bracket ay hindi wala na palang lower bracket ito ay hindi tama pala meron pa palang lower bracket so yung matata yung natalo dito so optic gaming will gonna go against complexity and then uh i mean uh optic gaming gonna go against complexity since natalo sila doon sa unang series nila against Optic Gaming. So, ayun, rematch ulit. While uh, VGJ Storm is now waiting for the Grand Finals para malaman kung sino magka-qualify for the GESC NA qualifiers. So, once again, I am Ishi. Maraming salamat sa lahat ng tumambay. I'll see you guys again next time. And sa lahat dyan, guys, magandang magandang umaga. Thank you, thank you once again. And you guys are watching dito sa Queenic WXC. One. The lower the number, the higher the priority the player gets in terms of gold and experience. One then would mean that the player receives the most experience and gold for items, and five the 